Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And to my returning service, what's up? Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video will be vlog style, throwing it back to the time I traveled to Koja Stabets in Lekipia. So I left Nairobi for Nanyuki on a Friday at around 3 p.m. I got to Nanyuki at around 7 and also stayed for the night by my friend Christine, who would also be joining me on the trip alongside other people. We started our journey at 9 a.m. and stopped at Sidamol Nanyuki for some breakfast and last minute shopping. So Koreja is a three hour drive from Nanyuki and past Doldol, the road gets very bumpy. But we treated to a free game drive and beautiful rock formations. So we got to see tortoises, a lone elephant bull, dick dicks, zebras, impalas, giraffes, vulture and guinea fowls, warthogs, or is it warthogs? <laughs> and lots of other animals. Literally, they're just on the road. <laughs> From the plains, you can see the vegetation and landscape changing to this, and villages are far, few and far between. At this point, honestly, it's so difficult to give directions because there are no landmarks. So we got to Koja at around 1 p.m. This is just in time for lunch. We were introduced to our lovely hosts and signed waivers. So Koja is a community-owned and run a lodge which is amazing because the local community directly benefits from it and this is the entrance slash mess slash lounge area above the beautiful mess area is this lovely deck with a view of the Wasonyuro river where you can just chill on the lounge chairs listen to some music or just chat cozy up with a book and look at the river and you can see a fire pit at the bottom where you get to enjoy bonfires Now we're headed to our bandas. Koja has four bandas and so it feels very intimate, which is something that I absolutely love. Two of the bandas are in suite and this is the family banda, which has two adjoining rooms that share an outdoor washroom and bathroom area. Each of the four bandas overlooks the river and right across the river is the Saba Conservancy, so you can also see animals in the distance. Usually there are hippos in the river, but you didn't get to see any. This is my room and this is the huge, humongous <laughs> bed. This is the second room which also has an extra bed. The family banda I'd say is best for families or a group of friends. This is the toilet and bathroom. And one thing you'll notice about the lodge is that the whole place is open plan. So there are no doors. Even the shower and toilet have no doors, but I guess it's fitting because then you get a constant supply of fresh air coming in and out, which also causes the rooms as this area of Kenya is usually very hot and dry for the better part of the year. And I love that you get an indoor-outdoor feel at the lodge. The bandas are very spacious, and even though they're open, they're spaced out so you can enjoy some privacy. And the special thing about this place is that you can wheel out the massive bed. The, bed, <laughs> the beds have wheels. Bring it over to the deck and sleep under the stars. That's what sets Koja apart from other lodges. And essentially, that's why it's called Koja Stabbids. The bandas are on raised platforms, so no animals can get in. And now we're headed for lunch. I didn't film the meals because everyone was starving at this point, to be honest. But we had some delicious ugali, nyamachoma, and kachumbari. By the way, Koja Stabbids is a self-catering lodge. So you buy and bring your own groceries and drinks, and the resident chef from you will prepare meals for you. After lunch, everyone went back to their bandas to just chill, and it was also drizzling at this point. I tried to read a book, but it was too cold, so I offered to chat with Christine. We skipped some dinners because of the rain, and lit a bonfire instead, which was quickly cut short by the rain. <laughs> we played games after supper, which I highly recommend that you carry. Carry board games and carry speakers. The night's sleep was amazing, and the bed was very warm and comfortable. We didn't fill out the beds because, as I said, it was raining. I woke up early to catch the sunrise and it was so quiet and peaceful. I can imagine doing some yoga or a quick workout at the deck would be so amazing. Or even just reading a book, catching up on your favorite podcast. We had our breakfast at the deck and spent the rest of the morning listening to music and chilling. Shortly after we had our lunch and hit the road to our next destination, a Maasai village near the lodge to visit the local Lekipiak Maasai community. 
wonderful ladies welcome welcome that song and dance and you got to join them in the dances you got to learn so much about their life and culture Here you can see the ladies are tossing burnt acacia sticks and tossing them inside the quads. The smoke from the burnt acacia has medicinal properties and antibacterial properties. So when the fresh milk is stored in the quads, it remains fresh for about three days. And this is a demonstration of how to create a fire using sticks and cow dung as shown by the Moranis. Though you can't quite see it, a flame did appear at the end of it all. And they did it quite fast. It was literally so fast. We learned more about the village, about the Maasai culture, and then you got to see the classic jumps done by the Morans. I suggest that when you go to Koija, consider visiting the village to get to interact with the locals and learn more about them and support them in whatever way you can. I'd say the best way to do so is by buying the handmade jewelry and woven crafts made by the women. Visiting the village was such a special experience. Highly, highly recommend. Back to the lodge and back to the bandas to relax. The afternoon was so gloomy and a nap was just what the doctor ordered. The evening was super chill. We just spent the night talking and getting to know each other. And I'd say that's the beauty of traveling with strangers. Because then you get to chat and to learn more about people and see life from a different perspective. I love that the bandas are right by the river. So you get to sleep while hearing the soothing sounds of the flowing river. I find that sounds so satisfying. But this is the last day of the lodge day three and it's always such a bittersweet feeling leaving a place especially such a beautiful place but you know i have to go back just to experience what it's like sleeping under the stars so we checked out right after breakfast and started our long journey back home and in my case nairobi kweja is a truly truly magical place and what i love most about it is that it's great value for money and for more information about Koeja, click the link in the description box. There's a link to a blog post that I wrote that has everything, literally everything that you need to know about the place. So that's it for today, you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel if you, if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. And until next time, bye.